lift her up. And we have a handrail. Number five. of a hinge. The beginning of it. The trailer. It's got teeth on it. Yeah. Grrr, grrr, grrr. What's the weight from? Grinding? No, I put uh, I spray painted the first one. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Just to make a an arch. Yeah, just so you knew. Kept losing cool. the uh, chalk line. Yep. Make that attack. Yeah. So I went inch and a half on this end. That way, it's not rubbing on the uh, the two ends will be inch. Okay, you're gonna have to take a little bit out of this just to take that to nothing on that one. And then this, this one's good. Looks like a big handrail. Is it going so fast we can't just go slow? Oh yeah, it's, it's rolling around a bit. Rattle can primer. And these are the hinges for it. It's in there okay? Yep. Okay, we'll give it a last little paint job and we're done.
today we are installing the staircase lid. There we go right there. This is the same house that we had to replace the um, wall in this area. We took out a wall that was here. It had a door, door opening there, so that would have been the family room. We took a wall out here and put a header in, replaced the header there. We replaced the ceilings in here from water damage. We did a bunch of work upstairs and in the master bedroom. And this morning, the coldest day of the year, we are going to be replacing this door, providing we have time. So. In here, we did uh, ceiling repairs. Yeah, we did ceiling repairs from water damage and we straightened out um, a couple of studs had warped really bad. And we did a bunch of drywall. Uh, scrape ceilings and primed them. Customer painted. And we did concrete posts downstairs. So. Done a fair amount of work at this house the last month, over the last month, but we're doing stairs today. Okay, we've got one of the brackets on, we've trimmed out, um, we've trimmed out the stringer there, and the bracket is installed. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where my finger is right there and we're going to attempt to put this into place. Okay, all we gotta do is cut it off there and fit it in. The outside's all good, so we're good to go. Okay, and then we'll just lift it up flush and screw it in place. on this side, but uh, Where's the tape measure? right there. We've got one inch. Yeah. One inch. And we we pretty we pretty well need that. So if we go inch and a half, I two, two by four. Right? Two by four right across. Yeah, inch and a quarter. Okay. The two by four will still catch it. And then Put it in such a position that it uh, yeah. is flush. I brought the. Uh, how, how stable is that right now? If you push down on it. Well, yeah, well we'll put that metal, other metal plate. Grab yeah. that, grab Let's, that other metal plate right there. We'll put it in. I want, I want to, I want to um, 
put it flush here and take a look down there to see if the floor is um well there's a the level we'll just put the straight edge no, no bring 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 this edge up flush to there and then take a look down there bring it up how is it there it's pretty close okay we're good and that's going to give us a floor that's uh removable Well, as long as you've got two marks, we can level from them. A bottom mark and a side mark. Okay, and then level the plate. And we'll need something to drill the center hole for the, for the plate. Just run the drill bit in there. Okay, we just need to put the plywood on top and scribe it to the walls probably because Lord knows that the stairwell is not square to the world. I can already see that this end is wider than that end and this distance is the same. Keep it away there. We'll keep it away there I, and a little tiny bit here. No, we can't keep it away here because uh, they won't be able to put a baseboard over there. No, I know. They won't. They're, well, they're gonna they're gonna put a, a coat rack or something here anyway. So let's let's keep it away. Let's keep it away three eighths there. Push it up tight to the wall on this side, this way, and three eighths there. There, how does that look? That looks like it should open and close okay. A little bit past. This won't... Uh... We're going to notch for there. We're going to put a notch in it right here, from the here, this way, and back. That way when it stands up. And then one on this side. And we'll too. do one on that side too. I just want to see how this feels. Oh yeah, that's definitely... I'll have to put the uh, center support in. Yeah, but is it bowing with me on here? 
it's a hard little to, tiny bit. Yeah, it does. So I can. Okay, put, let's not mark where those are. We'll put a pencil mark there. Uh, come this way, three eighths of an inch past it. Make sure it's a nice clear mark. Do the same thing on this side. Three eighths of an inch. See past. that past pencil mark. Okay, how much do we need to take out of there? And then we've got a center bracket that goes on there that supports the uh, framework itself. Coldest day of the year. <laughs> you got ice on your mustache. Watch this off it. The original builder must have had trouble with his level because we had the same problem on the back door. The spacing on the bottom is relatively the same, but on the top, it's tight in this corner, down to about three quarters of an inch, and a little more than three quarters of an inch to way more than an inch up there. Gonna have to make a creative uh, brick mold. When you put a bubble on here, the brick, the bubble's out. Let's go on there. Our door is level, but looking at it going down, the door is way out. And that same thing is on the back door with the same problem. And there's a space at the top. We couldn't bring the door up anymore. We already raised it an inch and a half, and that had become a trip hazard. So the door wasn't made for this opening. It was, I think it was just off the shelf kind. That's a pretty skinny brick mold too. So anyways, we had to cut the that because they'd spray foamed it and opened the gap up inside and we couldn't close the door, so we had to cut all that spray foam out and run some screws in through the jam. And that's right, a bit of screw there, another screw there, so that this space was the same all the way down. And the secret door to the basement is installed. Lift her up. And we have a handrail. The hinge is a round tube into a bracket. I also should note that we put a center support that the round pipe just sits on. It's not actually attached to it, but allows you to walk on the floor and not uh, deflect or anything. Much like a tailgate on a truck. Very similar idea except uh, 
it can't pop out. You can't take it off without taking the screws out. And then we just got a gate bolt and made a plate up and drilled a hole into the wall. Plywood was put on with self-tapping screws and it's a safe handrail and a safe floor.